Well, we are just four days away from a government shutdown. No, it is not deja vu again here. The Senate plans to vote on a stopgap spending bill tonight that would keep the government funded after money runs out Saturday at midnight, putting pressure on Speaker Kevin McCarthy to get something passed as he struggles against a few rogue members of his own party. If Congress cannot get a bill on the president's desk, a lot of people could be out of work. Uh, Rochelle, look, we've got uh, House Republicans putting forward additional appropriations bill today, not necessarily because it's going to avert a government shutdown, because House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is trying to buy some goodwill with the more right wing of the party. Uh, that really points to this ten ten uh, really tough position uh, that Kevin McCarthy is in right now, where he's got Republicans in the House GOP threatening to oust him if, in fact, he doesn't go for these additional spending cuts, more aggressive spending cuts as well. But really, at the end of the day, for our viewers, it is about looking at what the impact is going to be. Come Saturday midnight, it's going to be a lot of services that could be shut down. It's true. I mean, and as we know, Kevin McCarthy was essentially fighting for his life to even get that leadership position. So he's in a very, a very precarious situation at the moment. And when you look at some of the main impacts that we'll see, obviously, we're going to see most federal employees will have to be furloughed. Some essential employees, though, will still have to work, but they won't be paid until the government reopens. And of course, this couldn't come at a worse time. You have Fed tightening now just hitting home for a lot of households here. So this is the last thing you want to have to worry about. And then when you think of some other services, if you want a small business loan, that's going to be affected. If you want to get your passport process, that's also going to be affected as well. Some of the things that won't be impacted, though, Social Security and Medicare, but things that will be childcare benefits, like the Women, Infants and Children program. Now, these are some of the things that obviously speak to people's ability to get to work. If you don't have childcare, how do you show up for work? How, what's going to happen to your children? So a lot of these things are going to perhaps start trickling out. And it's not just when the shutdown happens. It's also a case of how quickly do these things then get back on track as well. That adds another wrinkle into this, Akiko. And, and Rochelle, of course, we've been tracking this from a market's perspective. The market's still largely shrugging it off, which has kind of been the reaction in past government shutdowns. But here's a number to leave you with. 21 government shutdowns since 1976. The longest shutdown, of course, under former President Trump. That lasted 34 days. And both sides, both parties, certainly not hoping that we lead down that road this time around.